Hello and welcome to today's vlog. Love it how you love me electric like you do. Love it how you love me electric always you. Love it how you love me electric electric I Love it how you love me a lot. Love me a lot. Love me electric. So we're here with Danny. We just got to the library and I remember I wanted to vlog today. We're not doing really anything crazy. We got a lot of work stuff done yesterday. Um, and, ooh, this is like a skunk. Um, but today, we have a few things on the agenda. I'm gonna walk into the library now and try and find a good book. We're in the library. You're supposed to whisper. These people are. I guess they didn't get the memo. But we're looking for the parents' apartment. I'm guessing we don't have it because this is Lucy Foley and this is not it. So it must be booked. I mean, booked. <laughs> booked? That's funny. Why don't they use that as the term? I found one of the books on my list. It's a large print, so it's cool. And Daniel's helping me look for the other one. A lot of the ones I want are not here right now. Okay, we're back in the car now. I'm gonna show you guys. I have a wedgie. All right, show you guys the books I got. First one, I already showed you. Then she was gone. You can drive, baby. Right? Um, by Lisa Jewell. And this was on, I got one that was on my list and then one that the cover just caught my attention. And um, so let me, let me just recap real quick. So I got like bat obviously um you know read in high school didn't read that much um i would say like in our, our early marriage i don't know i was just like always on my phone and then in the last year or so i've been trying to focus on not like aimlessly scrolling on my phone so i started reading again just for fun and i immediately started reading like all the books that were recommended on book talk if you are on tiktok that's what everybody calls book talk the pages that talk about tiktok or talk about books but i found that i just like don't like the books that all these people on tiktok like um i don't like daniel and i looked up the term smut s-m-u-t which is basically like reading pornography um, I just don't like that. Like, it's not, it's not that I'm like embarrassed by it. I just like find myself skipping through the page until I'm like, okay, they're done, um, making out or hooking up or whatever. And I'm just like, I so would rather just like lit, read a book that is, I, I mean, I don't mind like romance, like she can be falling or he or she can be falling in love or whatever, but I just like don't. It, I just don't like reading it and it's weird like reading it while I'm laying in bed next to my husband and I'm, you know it's just weird I'm against pornography in the first place so I just feel like it is different because it's a book like it's not using real people or anything but I just don't I just don't like the effects it has on your brain so that is why I I got one book that was on my list I don't think that this has any romance in it I could be wrong um, and the book I was telling you guys about the other day in my last vlog that I picked up at the little library, um, you probably are like, uh, that book is a huge smut book. And I found out it was, and I stopped reading it. I just like cannot get into it. I don't know what it is. So that's the first book that I just like stopped reading. I'm usually against, like, I'm like, no, I'm going to at least finish it. But lately I'm like, life's too short for me to be reading a book that I'm just don't like. So I am one of those people who will stop reading. So this one is Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell. And uh, this is like kind of my first mystery kind of book. I believe it's a mystery. I don't know what it's actually considered. It could be considered a thriller or something. I don't know. Um, and it's also a large print, like I said in there, which is kind of cool. I do take my glasses off to read at night, so that will be nice. And then this one, I don't know which one I'm gonna read first. This one is A Tea by the Sea Mystery, Murder in a Teacup. Like, look how cute this cover is. I know you're not supposed to pick books by their cover, but 
I do. And um, yeah, I think it looks really interesting. I've never read anything by this author and I love anything that is about like Rhode Island or um, New York City, like the New England states. And I don't know if this is there, but I see a lighthouse and um, sailboats. So it looked intriguing. I don't know why this keeps, do you see that? There we go. So yeah, that's what I got in the library. Now we're going to Norton Commons, which is a neighborhood here that Daniel likes to shoot cars in. So we're gonna go there, see if we can find a, a car for him to shoot. I haven't had any luck. Probably yeah. Month. I don't yeah so. um, but he did get a new film camera. Look at, do you see what it's doing? It's turning like orange. Yeah. Like or something. <gasps> oh no. Oh, that's sad. Whoa, sorry about that. Um, he did get a new film camera that he's really excited about and um, he's been posting a lot of cool content on his Instagram and TikTok and um, I think you guys should go watch it because it's cool but that's yeah it looks it's like a one car maybe their car broke down maybe the wreck is over oh there be an ambulance there's an ambulance and three cop cars hmm Yeah, so we'll talk to you guys um, when we get to Norton Commons. We're in Norton Commons now, and Daniel's a little sad because we're thinking there's not going to be a car. There is, there's a man who works here who has uh, like a collection of sports cars. and uh, he li Well, he doesn't live here anymore, but he did. Well, he lives and he works here. Yeah. Uh, and he always has them parked outside. Like he has Ferraris, Lamborghinis, uh, is anything you can uh, imagine uh, and there is a there's a TRX over there which is a big truck and they're nice but I, I just don't want to take a picture of a truck so that's fair I'm not gonna do it but this neighborhood's really pretty it's been in like probably all of my vlogs I feel like it's gorge gorgeous mm -hmm. gorgeous it'd be a nice place to live it would be now we are at Kroger we don't need much, just a few things we're gonna grab while we're out. We're simple people. Simple people. Getting Daniel's drinks and my drinks. And then to the frozen stuff. Thanks for carrying the groceries. Actually, will you carry them? No, I won't. We're looking for, what's the brand? It's like Meals. Healthy, choice, Healthy choice. Here they are. Uh oh. <gasps> they have the burrito bowl that we like. Was the other thing the same brand? Yeah, I think so. Rats. We can stop by the other Kroger. I made him come to this one because we were across the street. And I told her that we should just go to the other one. I just wanted to. We were so close. I'm sorry. It's okay. I forget. Done. Guys, they do have it. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh. We got our groceries and our books. Now we're heading home because I'm hungry. Just got home and I was going to do a really quick, really quick Kroger haul for you guys. Um, we've been getting these Healthy Choice um, Simply Seamers meals just because they're quick and easy. They're five points on Weight Watchers, which talk about the Weight Watchers thing. If you don't know, it's in previous vlogs. But anyways, so we really like this creamy spinach and tomato linguine one. It's really good and filling. Um, so we got three of those, I think, three or four of those. And then, hi camper. Hi buddy. And then we also got the Simply Steamers Unwrapped Burrito Bowl. And this does have like a, it's a spicy tomatillo. I don't know if that's how you say it. Tomatillo. Tomatillo sauce. And um, it's like at the bottom, so Daniel makes it for me without the tomatillo sauce because it's too spicy for me. And then Daniel also got one of these for himself. I actually don't like this. I just don't like the texture of these. Did we get something? Well, I thought the ring went off. Me too. I thought that too. Um, but it's Cauli Bowls pasta made with cauliflower, garlic parmesan alfredo with broccoli. So that one's for Daniel. 
Um, and then you guys saw us get mini Diet Cokes and mini Coke Zeros. If y'all do Weight Watchers, this is six points. These are five points. Are they both five? Yeah, I think they're both five points. So, yeah, now we're going to dance. No, now we're going to eat. It's so important to convince everyone else that you're not boring, but it's making me feel like my skin is crawling. I keep pouring out my empathy to someone I don't even see eye to eye with. I don't mind if you don't have it all together. Yeah, I get it. We are all human, but I give you an inch and you take miles. It's tragic. Ruining my sanity with tales of animosity. I eating i read my book for a little bit um i had one of these so delicious dairy free um ice cream sandwiches they're made with like coconut something so um they are low points on weight watchers but they also have like this nice little light coconut flavor which i really like um i've also been editing this vlog that you're actually currently watching because i already had a bunch of clips and i want to get them off my phone so I've been doing that and now I'm kind of trying to decide what I want to do. I have a few like tentative things on my to-do list, like things I could go ahead and get done. Um, I just don't know what I want to do first. Actually, I do know what I need to do first. I need to email this company a proposal. So I'm going to work on that. best ones I will fight for you Even in the heartbreak Even when we win I'll be loving you oh. Just finished emailing that proposal and now I'm going to possibly film this outfits video. I've been uh, brainstorming with Daniel, um, but I need to make sure that I have everything first. So I'm going to do that. All right. So I'm vlogging and then I also have Daniel's camera set up for my video. I'm going to be recreating Hailey Bieber's or five of Hailey Bieber's iconic Pinterest outfits. So if you want to see that, hopefully it will be up um, tomorrow when you're watching this. It should be up by the time you're watching this. If not, it is coming very soon. I just finished filming that video and getting dressed and undressed that many times should not be as tiring as it is and i'm like sweating now but i'm so excited that i got that marked off my to-do list now i'm gonna edit it i feel like i've given you guys a lot of like time lapse -y, uh content in this video so i'm not going to record myself editing i will just talk to you guys once i'm finished i am currently editing my video I moved outside because Daniel's mowing the lawn and um, he was having some issues with the lawn mower and uh, my dad stopped by to take a look at it. So I figured I'd just come out here so I could see my dad. Go Jerry, go. Go Daniel, go. I love them. All right, I'm back inside. I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek on this video cause I'm really proud. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be very different from my previous videos. Today, I'm going to be recreating five of Hailey Bieber's iconic Pinterest looks. I've been on the road, I've been doing shows. Now we eat steak, remember sleeping on the floor. 
It is 8.30 now. My dad just left. I am going to eat another frozen dinner. I just don't feel like making anything and they're good, okay? Um, so I'm going to have a smart one fettuccine alfredo with broccoli. I'm trying to decide if it's too late for me to have a Diet Coke or not. Um, and then I'm going to read my book. I'm so excited. I decided to go for it. I'm gonna be up for at least a few more hours. So I'm gonna have a Diet Coke with lemon in my Emma Chamber, or not Emma Chamberlain, Chamberlain coffee cup. So I just use, I actually prefer fresh lemon, but I don't have any right now. So I'm just using lemon juice diet coke and my um food is done so i'm going to finish editing my video eat this wash my face read my book and go to bed okay so you gotta add salt and pepper to these if not they're just so, adding salt, pepper, got my delicious, I'm gonna seize, I always do that, diet coke, it's perfect, I'm gonna finish editing this video, and then I'll talk to you guys when I'm done, okay, um, I finished that video posted a little sneak peek on tiktok and now i'm going to wash my face it's almost 10 o'clock which is about the time i have been turning off my phone for the night which has been really great for me um so i'm going to like i said pull my hair back wash my face i'm wearing my bare bradley pajamas i have two sets of these and i love them they're just so comfortable um, I've been taking off my makeup every night with um, sometimes just the makeup eraser, depending on how much, like, if I just wore, like, light makeup, I'll use just this. Uh, but if I did a full face like I did earlier today, um, I'll use my my Clarins Remove. This stuff is super, super gentle. It's not recording. I don't know why, but almost done. Just need to brush my teeth. Getting manicures tomorrow with my mom. Um... Possibly a pedicure, I haven't decided yet. My toe polish did chip, but you know, it's just like a lot of commitment to be there that long, so I'm gonna just play it by ear. <laughs> Now I'm ready for bed. That's everything for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me over follow me over on Instagram. I'm at truthlycharlie and my husband's at level wheels, and we'll see you guys next time for another video.